Hey guys, this is Shukesh Bonik once again and today I have the two versions of Samsung Galaxy Note 3. The black one here is the N9000 that is with the Samsung Exynos 5 Octa chipset and this has been released around the world including India and the white one here is the N9005 that is with Snapdragon 800 chipset and this is mainly for the western countries like the USA now apart from the cpu and the gpu there are also a couple of differences in between these two though regarding the exterior regarding the design and the handling the quality of the hardware and also the user interface both of these phones are exactly same but still there are a couple of differences mainly because of the exynos 5 octa chipset cannot support a couple of things the white one that is the N9005 is a 4G LTE model with 150 Mbps downloading and 50 Mbps uploading speed. The black one that is the N9000 is only a 3G model with 42 Mbps downloading speed. Now there is another major difference in the camera. The LTE model can record in breathtaking 4K resolution that is around 4 times larger than full HD. The 3G model is only capable of recording in full HD though the quality of recording is not that bad. Now let's talk about the CPU and the GPU. The N9000 version sports two quad-core processors, one with premium Cortex A15 1.9 GHz clock rate and another one is mediocre Cortex A7 processor with 1.3 GHz clock rate. Whereas the N9005 features a 2.3 GHz quad-core Crate 400 processor. The chipset here is excellent Snapdragon 800 whereas the N9000 has the Samsung Exynos 5 Octa 5420 chipset. The GPU on the Snapdragon version is Adreno 330 whereas the Exynos version features Mali T620 MP6 GPU. Now all the other specs of these two phones are just the same. One thing I should mention here, on the Exynos version only one quad core remains active depending on the task this phone is doing and Samsung is reportedly working on making both of these quad cores active at the same time to boost the performance. Now let's run this Antutu benchmark on both of these phones and check the results side by side. Well, the result is slightly better on the Snapdragon version. Let me show you the details. You can pause this video here and compare the results, the breakup side by side. I have also tried the Quadrant standard but the Snapdragon version is not supporting this benchmark. On N9000 I got around 19,500. Now as you know Samsung also released this type of two versions of Samsung Galaxy S4 and I want you to know that the octa-core version of the Galaxy S4 was not good. I faced a lot of issues like overheating, hanging, battery drainage etc. Though Samsung has fixed some of those issues partially with updates but still the octa-core S4 lacks a lot. The good news is this octa-core Note 3 is not showing those issues but the battery backup is not as good I expected compared to the previous Galaxy Note 2 and this Snapdragon Note 3 and the system also eats up around 1.5 to 1.7 GB of RAM on the octa-core version whereas the Snapdragon version eats up around 1 or 1.2 GB of RAM all the time. But still I want to say that both of these phones are almost same and you can get any one of these. Well that's all for now guys, I am going to upload a lot more videos on this Note 3 so you can subscribe and keep in touch if you are really into this phone. This is Shukesh Bonik and thanks for watching.